Good morning, year four, or good afternoon. Um, you are now entering into Thursday's English activity, and today we are going to be looking at how to use iSpace openers in your writing. Some of you are going to be going, oh, Mr. Paul, we've done this before. And you're absolutely right, but we're going to keep on doing it because it's something that's really, really important that can really excite and bring to life your writing. So we're doing it so you can build this important skill and to gain confidence in this area. And it's another one of those key year four targets. Nothing better than getting a tick in a box there year four. So we're going to do that by understanding the different types of eye space openers there are. Some of you might be really confident with this and are shouting at the screen now saying, I know all of them. And that's brilliant. Um, we're also going to be using them at the front of sentences with a comma afterwards. They are front of the verbials because eye space openers, they go at the beginning of your sentence followed by a comma. And then... We're going to use them to provide extra information to the main clause that follows these openers. So yesterday, of course, we were working on those subordinating conjunctions and clauses at the beginning of sentences. We're going to be building on that a bit more today. So we are going to be looking at those different iSpace openers you've explored this year. And why do we use openers at the beginning of sentences? Have a little think to yourself, write down some notes and we'll come back and share those ideas in a minute. So the reason why we do it, it's all about excitement, about making that writing more interesting, showing your creativity. There's nothing better for myself and Miss Harbert than seeing an eye space opener at the beginning of your sentence or paragraph. It brings a bigger smile to our face. And that's what we're looking for you today. So before we get into the main sort of crust of the activity today, you're gonna need your eye space poster ready. It is saved on your home planning activities for today under the title iSpace, please make sure you have it ready. Because we're going to start by matching the sentence. Here is a sentence type, ing, simile, preposition, adverb, conjunction and the ed endings. Here are some sentences. They match up. All you have to do is go to yourself as, and think to yourself which one is it going to match up with. So for instance, as busy as a bee, the teacher marked all of the work. Is that going to link up with an ING eye space opener? It may do. Who knows? We'll find out in just a few moments. So pause the video and give us one a go. So as you can see, R as busy as a beat is a simile because you're comparing two things. The second one down behind the fridge is a prepositional eye space opener. It's talking about position. We also then have, meanwhile, the children rebelled against the teacher and didn't learn their times tables. That is a conjunction there as well. You got the conjunction at the beginning of the sentence. The next one, walking, the class trekked through the rain. That's an ING, I space opener. How do we know? ING's on the end of that word. We've then got bruised, the cat returned from its fight, having met defeat, that's your ED ending. And last but not least, excitedly, the class was, was were happy. Look at that I've mistake, Mr. Ball. The class were happy to hear that it was non-uniform day. That is your adverbial eye space opener. So well done if you got them correct. Even better if you notice a mistake Mr. Ball put in there as well. I'm sure a few of you have. So let's just really dig in more detail about each of the eye space openers. So starting off with your ING sentence starters. These sentences start with words that end in ing. So you've got a little information on your sheet there as well. So you want to think about it as just using ing with a word followed by a comma, e.g. sprinting, the athlete crossed the line. Or the sentences can start with the ing word as part of a phrase followed by a comma, sprinting at great speed, the athlete crossed the line. Both are great examples of that ing I space opener. Moving on, simile I space sentence starters, they start with a simile. Simile are used to compare two objects. So you could compare how fast or slow something is, how strong or how smart something is, etc, etc. So you can use phrases such as, as large as an elephant, the parlour homework wasn't getting any smaller. Like an excited dog, the young man opened his birthday present. So as is a great starter and so is like. There's lots of examples on your iSpace poster that you can use as well. <coughs> Moving on to prepositional iSpace openers. Now this basically tells you the position of one noun compared to another. I always think 
the massive clue in the word preposition is the word position. It's all linking to position. So this open and related position, however, they always need to be part of a phrase. You can't just say around, not okay. You didn't make it past that. So on top of the hill, the view of the town was incredible. You're giving information about the position of something in relation to another noun. That's how those prepositional eye space openers work. Moving on again to your adverb sentence openers. These describe ver verbs. They describe those doing words. It gives more information. So your adverb eye space openers tend to just be a single word that describes a Action, or an action, shall I say. E.g. slowly, the sloth climbed the tree. And you'll find that these adverb openers will always end in that L-Y word. If you want to know that something's an adverbial eye space opener, tend to find it as an L-Y on the end of the word. Conjunction sentence starters. We looked at these in great depth over the last couple of days. Again, the conjunction is linking two parts of the sentence together the subordinate clause and the main clause, all we're doing is putting the extra information at the beginning of the sentence. E.g., unlike Monday, Friday was a fun day. I've added an extra slide just for the laughs. But we'll move on to our ED sentence starters as well. And these are sentences that start with words that end, ironically, in ED. So, it's there. As of all eye space openers, to provide extra information at the beginning of the sentence, these openers are just one word and they end in ed. For instance, determined, he wasn't going to give up. So with that in mind, can you write an ing eye space opener for the picture below? I imagine a few of you are going crazy now seeing this particular individual on your screens, but what I'm looking for is to fill in the gap at the beginning of the sentence with an ING eye space opener. Use your sheet, off you go. And how did he do? I went for this. Waving his wand, Harry Potter cast a magical, mysterious, marvelous spell. Can, I, can you as well, year four, tell me what else is included in that sentence? Because hopefully you've seen that I've also included a list sentence within it which is a form of alliteration too, because that M, M, M sound is being repeated again. If you're writing your eye space openers, don't forget about the list, two way and add same ad sentences we've looked at before. They can be embedded within your sentences. Next one. Here's your sentence. It's a picture of an ant and some tasty fruit. Can you come up with a simile based eye space opener? Off you go. As you'll see, could be something like this. I went for as strong as a warrior, the courageous, brave ant carried delightful, tasty fruit. Well done if you notice the two-way sentence within that too. As you can see, we're going on again. Here is a picture of some Roman soldiers. This is the Colosseum, by the way, if you're not sure. Here is your blank space for your opener. I want you to put a prepositional opener in front of it. Off you go. Nice and simple for this one. In front of the Colosseum, the soldiers marched, marched because they were told to. Nice and simple, we can see the soldiers are in front of the Colosseum. We're providing the extra information as part of an ad same ad sentence. Here we are again. This time we're looking at an adverbial eye space opener for the picture below. Off you go. For this one, sneakily, was my adverb. Again, it ends in L-Y, followed by the comma. The man took some delicious Norwich food from the clean white fridge. Something Mr. Ball is very renowned for doing. And then, can you now write a conjunction eye space opener for the picture below? So there's your blank space, followed by a comma, include a comma in, include a comma, include a conjunction eye space opener in there. Off you go. I've gone for. Despite winning a medal, the athlete was unhappy. It would make sense if we turned it around the other way too and said the athlete was unhappy despite winning a medal. That is how those conjunction eye space openers work. Hopefully you've got something similar in there. And we will end. Not a conjunction. I am looking for those 
hopefully, ED ones there as well. So can you now include an ice based opener that ends, I think, in ED to describe this picture here? Off you go. Yeah, got it. Thankfully, Mr. Ball was spot on there. So yeah, it needed to be an ED one, and I went for focused. The cat was ready to pounce. Again, it ends in ED. Talking of ending, you're probably happy to hear that I'm now ending my talk, and it's over to you. So, you need to complete either the warm, hot, or spicy English activity using your eye space openers. There are pictures there to help you if you are unsure. Read the instructions carefully on the sheet and enjoy yourself today, year four. Best of luck.